Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, we talk about the idea of polarity. We can see polarity in any kind of symbol or aspect of our journey. We could say light and dark, night and day, left and right, front and back. I'm approaching it from the aspect of the journey in and of itself. I don't know about your journey, but for mine, I spent the better part of my life being forceful. And anything I aspired toward, I, I really, I really pushed hard, worked hard. Diligent, focus. But as I reach uh, about 10 years from now, I'll be at that half century mark. And I see that in myself there's been a large shift. Now, if I live to be 100, we'll see. But what I've come to realize is. At this aspect of my journey, I take more, more appreciation and the patience and the ease of things. See, when you're working so hard and forging your path and hacking away at the force, you get so caught up in carving out your path that you forget that it never ends. So as time went on on my journey, I began to embrace the fact that, hey, what's the rush? (laughs) What's the rush? Life is perpetual. You incarnate, you leave the vessel. You incarnate, you leave the vessel. Everything in between incarnating and leaving is what we deem to be a life. So having time of working and working and working and working and working and whatever that looks like to you, forging my path. Now I take my time. I'm at ease with self. I'm at ease with my journey. And interestingly enough, the more at ease I am, the clearer the path ahead. May only be able to see two steps in front of me. Might not be able to see any. But I understand that the path is there. See, before, I thought I had to make that path. Nah. I get it now. It's ease. Some say go with the flow. I think that's a bit uh, too generalized. Say go with your flow. Because sometimes your flow moves a little differently. Not even sometimes, always. Because we're all individually unique. That's it. And I say that in reference to the journeys that we take because paths do cross. Some paths do merge. Some paths separate. But each path is in and of itself its own journey. There's a... uh, (laughs) <laughs> it's an understanding I received about the word coincidence, where if something surprisingly happens or unexpectedly happens, we call it a coincidence. But if you really break down the word, it's a co-incident. It's two incidents coinciding. 
It's not by luck. It's not an accident. It's two things happening at the same time where both people, things, situations are in observance of that collision, if you will, or that merging. Depends on where you are in that situation. These thoughts come up when I think about the polarity of my journey. The dual nature of life. My life, I mean any and everything. The dual nature of the all there is to create the oneness that we know is our life. The dual nature of the logical and creative side of the brain that creates the one brain. The dual nature of the good and bad that creates understanding. The dual nature of sexuality that creates babies. It's fascinating to me. I'll leave it there because this is a topic that I can go on for all day and <laughs> I'm interested to hear what you think about it as well. Uh, until next time, be blessed.